Happy Wednesday, everyone. Welcome to Beyond the Adventure. Today's episode takes place all the way back in Season 2 of Adventure Wednesday, where I take you guys to the Mount Tom Quarry. Let's get started. Starting this episode out here, I'm in my kitchen taking a bumper sticker off the bulletin board, which reads, Mount Tom, I don't dig it. Now, these bumper stickers were very popular when I was a little kid, and they all stemmed from the uh, quarrying of roughly 91 acres of Mount Tom, which is what Happy you see Wednesday, right there. Anyways, going back and doing an intro in my truck right now, I've taken you guys up to Mount Tom before. I took you guys to the tip of Mount Tom in the previous season, Season 7 of Adventure Wednesday. If you want to check out the link, it will be up here or down below in the description. Also, I have taken you up to where the abandoned ski resort and water park is. I've brought you there a couple of times before. I will put the most recent video link up here and down below in the description. And that just so happened again. I don't know why, but my computer just keeps randomly turning off. So we're just going to continue on with this episode. This is the fourth time in a row that I've tried to do this, and the screen just completely turns off altogether. Anyways, we are heading north right now on Route 5, which is also known as Northampton Street. There is a building a little ways back on the right known as Yankee Peddler. That right now is currently in construction to become a people's bank, and they had moved one of the other buildings that was located on the property. So like I was saying before, one of my buddy's younger brothers, who is a viewer on this channel, a subscriber, suggested that I go up and film the quarry and do an episode of Adventure Wednesday. And I had just recently purchased the Phantom 3 4K drone, I'd say about a month or so before this episode aired. Now right there is where the gates are, where you used to enter Mountain Park. Now, let me see if I can go back and find the original air date of this episode, but Mountain Park was in a, a popular amusement park in the area, but when the times had changed and there was, there were more um, exciting entertainment options available in the area, the revenue decreased at Mountain Park and they weren't really able to build the, you know, crazy screaming roller coasters and, and popular attractions that people were starting to crave for at the time, so they eventually closed down. Now it is an outdoor amphitheater, but the strange thing is the person that purchased the amphitheater, most people say it was just as a tax write-off because they only have like one or two concerts there a year. I can't even name anybody that played there this past year. I'd say about two or three years ago we went down there to see Dropkick Murphys and... There was probably like 200 people there. It really wasn't that busy. I know um, Willie Nelson had played up there once before, and there were a couple other notable people, but for having this outdoor concert area, and they only have one or two bands playing there a year, it's just a complete waste of space. Now, speaking of waste of space, right up here is where the water park is located. Now, the Boys and Girls Club had the opportunity to move up there and to have their facilities up there to have an outdoor type of camp, but that never came into fruition. They pretty much used it for about one or two years from what I can gather because there are some Boys and Girls Club documents that were left abandoned inside where the ski lodge was. So anyways, um, that building there on the left is actually a maintenance shed. Now, when I was a little kid, I've told you the story before, how we would peek into the windows and the whole garage was closed off there and there was like a brand new i think it was like chevy or something sitting inside the garage well since that point in time somebody has gotten in there and decided to burn it down and it's just like this heaping pile of trash so like i said those links if you want to check out the other videos are down below in the description which you can see a more recently updated video of mount tom now here i am actually taking off from one of the southern sides of the quarry there uh, the original air date on this episode is October 5th, 2016, so a little over two years ago. But here I am just entering the quarry with the drone. Now, if I remember correctly, there were a bunch of eagles or hawks or something. No, there wasn't eagles. There was hawks out there, um, and they were flying around, and they kept like swooping in after the drone. So I tended to cut this video a little short. I always have loved this shot. This is one of my favorite shots I've ever done with the drone. Just pulling back the quarry is kind of encompassing the screen and the, the surroundings and the backdrop are rising up to meet it. I like that shot of the cloud right there just completely disintegrating and then reforming as another cloud and yeah that's one thing that I absolutely love about shooting time lapse is I think for a second you can actually see the drone cuts into the time lapse there. But here I am just flying over. Now I do have to apologize if you look closely there is a um, some graffiti in the middle of the quarry there, and I did not notice this until 
later on after I had finished flying over I had walked around inside the quarry and I saw a giant um you know and couldn't really do anything about it you might actually see it in a second here but yeah um this quarry when I was a little kid we would go up here and we would watch them blasting it out my grandfather myself we'd go on hikes out here when we watch them you know taking the rocks away and they had this massive operation going on like I said, let me see if I can find, there, there's a couple old articles um, online. So it was roughly 91 acres in total that they wanted to carve out from the face of Mount Tom. And um, there are ledges, uh, ledges of roughly 125 feet high right now that are left there where peregrine falcons are beginning to nest and make their homes. You can actually see some of the ledges there. And for all of those that are into the ice climbing, um, sport ice climbing um, adventure, I guess. I don't know what, what you want to call it. I have seen a lot of people up here actually climbing on the frozen waterfalls in the winter. Now, like I said, the original air date was October 6th. And as you can see, the foliage was not very lush at this point in time. It was very, very green as stark contrast to what it is outside right now. Um, you know, just about all the leaves have come off the trees. There is the ski area right there nestled in between the valley. Um, there's another shot here. Now, I don't know what happened with this. It's almost like the, the frames per second were cut down or something. Now, I had done this with a few different shots. I didn't adjust any of the settings on the drone while I was filming or in between takes or anything. So I just had, you know, every shot was fine. And then for some reason or another, when I did this slow, um, like dolly, like pan over, it just, it seemed a little choppy. That always bothered me, but I went with it because I really liked the shot of, you know, the, the quarry there coming into focus. So here's another shot of you know, just a, a quick time lapse there. It's absolutely massive though. If you guys ever are in the area, it's a little bit of a hike to get up there. It's not that much of a long hike to get there. It is a very steep hill that you're actually walking up. I was a little kid. Now here we are, or here I this am actually not, heading into where the quarry is. And now when we do have really rainy seasons, I have seen beavers building dams in this area. I've seen, you know, this whole bottom flooded of it. It looks like a lagoon, but very, very cool. It always reminded me of, um, like in recent years of the quarry from like the walking dead there. I know it's not anywhere remotely close to looking like it, but a quarry is a quarry. That's one of the spots right there I was telling you about that would always flood and you'd see beavers and stuff down there. Now there were these cool, weird rock circles, question marks or something that somebody had taken the time to lay out. So I just decided to record them. I, I don't know what they are, but I thought they were pretty neat. So here we are heading in there. Now, I'm six foot four with my boots on. I'm about six foot five, and you know I tend to hold the camera right around my, you know, chest or neck area, so you can just see for reference how how tall this is. Something about that. Yeah, that that didn't really look safe, and come to think of it, I think since going up there recently, that piece has crumbled off. I'm just doing a. A little acoustic echo inside of there. I'm holding the battery in my hand. But that's one thing I do like about the Mavic Pro is the batteries tend to stay a lot cooler than the ones from the Phantom. Every time that I would take the battery out of the Phantom, I would always be afraid to put it in my bag because it was so hot. So I'd always hang on to it and keep flipping it between my hands there and everything. That is what I was talking about before you can see it drawn on the ground. So yeah, um, completely out of my control there. But yeah, I, I like the Mavic batteries. They tend to cool down right away. I can slide them right into the bag or right into a backpack or something like that. The Phantom batteries, on the other hand, you always had to hold for a while to let them cool down. So a couple other cool things about this quarry here is there are a few spots on the side where there are anchors where people actually go repelling off of it, not during the winter, not climbing up the icy waterfalls, but they are located on the side. And like I said, this was a massive quarry operation back in the day. You know, granted there are ones that are much bigger in the area, but just to be doing this on a quiet 
little mountain slope. I think I'm actually zooming in at one of the hawks that was up there going after the drone. But um, as far as walking around that spot in the summer, I would highly recommend one wearing boots, two not having earphones in, and three always looking where you uh, step. Those are you know common sense things when you're hiking, but. I have never seen more rattlesnakes and copperheads in my life than in that quarry right there. Just the rays of the sun go in there and, you know, heat them up throughout the entire course of the day. Anyways, guys, we're coming up on the end of the episode right now. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you tonight for Beyond the Adventure. Peace.